from the state capitol in Richmond, I'm Roberta Roldan. Legislation that would have banned housing discrimination against gay and transgender people has died. Equality Virginia's executive director, James Parrish, urged House Speaker Kirk Cox to give the bills a chance. Because some members of leadership do not yet see that this issue is not controversial, it's common sense. Virginia voters understand that equality is not a Republican or Democrat value, it's a Virginia value. Under current state law, it's legal for someone selling their home or hiring a new employee to discriminate against people in the LGBTQ community. Hopes were high that legislation changing that would pass this year. Advocates also highlighted two new polls that showed a majority of Democrats and Republicans supported legislation to end housing and employment discrimination. Zakia McKenzie is a transgender Richmond resident. She says protections are desperately needed. Transgender people, especially transgender women of color, are vulnerable to discrimination, harassment, and violence just for being who we are. And we need our lawmakers to do something about it. Equality Virginia plans to push for non-discrimination bills in the state legislature again next year. For Assembly 19, I'm Roberta Roldan. Broadcast of Assembly 19 is brought to you by the Virginia Education Association. An investment in Virginia teachers today will bring dividends tomorrow.